Good evening, family. I am your host, Infinite Child, and before the night ends, I have to give us this word, amen. If you made it home safely, glory be to God. Know that this content is to encourage you and to seek the word of God. This word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. So, guys, today, really, you know, I thoroughly just speak about uh, the word of wisdom and how, you know, we should always ask God for wisdom in any endeavors, right? And so, and so on with me too, uh, the content yesterday that I gave you, oh, you know, just seek, seeking counsel, you know, at all times, you know, and, you know, we know the father has all wisdom, right? He is everything, you know, everything, everything, you know, and we can't box the Lord in, you know, he's the creator of all, of all. And so for you know, we ask God any battle that, you know, that we may be experiencing, you know, we ask God for wisdom. And of course, we know that he will always fight our battles and that he has gone before us. Right. And so he always tells us to fear not. Right. And he all he has any, you know, the father has seen the end from the beginning. Right. And so all his perspective is beyond ours. Right. You know, his ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. Ours. And so there are some things that, you know, we, we don't uh, obtain fully, you know, not all things he's going to release unto us. Right. And the father is very mysterious and things that he wants to reveal unto us, it will be known. Right. And so let's, you know, try not to be blindsided by, you know, uh, uh, these uh, whatever's contrary or, uh, you know, or being uh, deceived or, you know, any uh, being taken advantage of or, or anything of the like. And so we ask God, we ask for a word of wisdom, whatever your situation may be. And even though the enemy plots and plan against us, we know that it shall not prosper, right? The weapons will form, but it will not prosper. Glory be to God. We thank you, Father, against any of us, right? And God has promised uh, to show things to come, right? He has promised those things. And again, we ask word of wisdom and, you know, and, and, and whatever it may be, even against your church, right? And, you know, we are the body of Christ. Christ is the head. And so, the the you know, we know that warning always comes before destruction, right? And, you know, and, and you know, the trumpets sound, right? And, you know, the, the alarms are blown, you know? Uh, you know, it, it's a lot of things that's going on around us. Glory be to God, you know, it is, it is not our portion. And so, again, you know, with wisdom, wisdom, you know, it is a spiritual gift and we use it, you know, and, and in war, you know, and, and whatever, whatever it may be, family, just whatever it may be, you know, we ask God for wisdom because we know the Father carries us through and we cannot be in darkness or ignorant of the word, right? And so... We know that the Holy Spirit will remind us. And of course, we're supposed to write, you know, meditate on this word, you know, let it not depart from our mouths. And the Holy Spirit will remind us and, in, in, you know, in, in all things we seek the word. You know, the Father is the solution to all problems. He is the solution. Sometimes, you know, we could, you know, lean on to our own understanding. And that's not, that's not good, family. You know, because how many of us can say that it has got, it has gotten us anywhere? It has not got us anywhere, right? You know, it's like you, we hit a brick wall, you know, or, you know, we fumble, you know. But the Father, the Father is faithful and wisdom comes from the Lord, right? And so we pray, family, asking, you know, that we ask for wisdom. We ask him for wisdom, Father, for the warfare that we are facing, the warfare that will come against us, you know, in Jesus' mighty name. And, you know, that you always give us a heads up and you reveal and show unto us what that is, Father. And to show us what the enemy is trying to do and is doing and how to overcome before the battle begins, right? Raging in our lives. Again, the weapons will form. The enemy will try. But we know that we already have victory. We already won in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we declare in the Cree family, the wisdom of God I receive, we receive confounds the enemy of our souls in every battle of our minds. Glory be to God in our hearts. We declare the spiritual gifts 
the spiritual gifts inform inform us father of the spiritual warfare and we are victorious always in jesus mighty name so let's uh read from first corinthians proverbs and james and family feel free to seek the word yourselves amen all right so let's go to first corinthians let's go to first corinthians chapter 12 verse 8 for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit to another, the word of knowledge through the same spirit. The spirit of God, the spirit of God. Wisdom. Wisdom in the word of knowledge is from the spirit of God, the same spirit, the spirit of God, the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit himself. Amen. Let's find Proverbs family. I hope your day has been good, productive, right? Ugh. So, yeah, and, and you know, and again, just to encourage you guys, you know. Whatever it may be that you see, that you have uh, sought the Lord for, and we know that you know many plans are of of the man's heart, but it is the plans of the Lord that always prevails, right? And so you know we give God thanksgiving and praising Him today and forevermore. Just the 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 plans that He has for your life, the plans that He has for your life, Amen. Because it is more than we can ever think of more than um, we can even hope for. Amen. Because we know the Father can do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ask or think. And so, family, we are walking into it. We are walking. We are walking into it. Blessings. We are reaping. The harvest is here. There's a time and place for all things, and it is your time. It is happening. Be steadfast. Trust the Lord. Trust the process, no matter what it looks like, because we know the Father is faithful. Amen. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 6. Do not forsake her wisdom. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will preserve you. She will preserve us, right? Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. In all you're getting, get understanding. And so again, we cannot be, you know, ignorant of the word. And, and, and we can't be shy to ask for wisdom. As the Father said, you ask for wisdom, he will give it unto us. Unbraid it not. And so he won't judge us because, you know, we may not understand some things, you know. But he will reveal it unto us what that is. And, you know, we listen, we listen, take time out, you know, cut all the noise off. You know, sometimes our mind, our minds can be crowded and I know how that is. Right. And you have all these different voices, you know, the spirit of truth, the word of God, the word of God. And we give authority only to God, his voice, his word. And so we're going to read from James chapter 1. And again, I'm reading from the K, the um, NKJV. Chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, right? Me as well. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach. And it will be given to him. But let 
him acts in faith with no doubting for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind mm. and so again you know the father says ask anything jesus says ask anything ask anything in my name and i will do it Yet we have to already believe that we that we receive before we even ask. And the same with <clears throat> wisdom. When we ask the Father for wisdom, we ask in faith, in faith. All things we do in faith. And believe that we will receive the spirit of knowledge, you know, the word of knowledge, right? And who will give it unto us without reproach, right? So we ask in faith without doubting. And some, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it can be it can be challenging. It can be challenging. Yet we know who our father is. We know who our identity is which is in Jesus Christ. And so what the father says about his children, it is true. It is truth. And that's what we receive. And we receive that by faith, right? We we receive our, 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 our salvation by faith. We receive his plan for our lives by faith. We receive our inheritance from the father, the spiritual gifts, you know, and bear fruit and all those great things by faith. And so all things are faith-based, right? And that's just the setup of it. That's how the Father wants it to be, you know? We we can't uh, question any of those, of his works, right? It's what it is. It's in faith by faith that we, that we receive all things from the Father. And it doesn't matter what it looks like. And mind you, family, God created heaven and earth. All things belong to him. All things belong to him, even though the enemy is the the enemy is lowercase g god of this of this world it doesn't matter it it does not matter we know who we belong to and the father is willing able and ready to give unto us what he's already predestined for us what he's already ordained yet we have to receive it it's willingness to believe and to believe what to believe him who is him jesus christ to believe his son and what his son has done for anyone for everyone whosoever whosoever that's anyone and so family receive the word be encouraged be strengthened by the word and and even in our weaknesses that's when the lord is our strength and you know he will protect us and give all things unto us you know and that's what it is you know, and fret not, fret not. The Father is with you. The Father is covering you. The Father loves you. And all things are well, okay? Be encouraged. I certainly am. God is doing amazing things. And, you know, just in, you just know, you know it in your spirit. You just know in your heart. And, do not be weary, even though it, some things may tarry, right? But we wait for it. We wait for it. And, and the Father's on time with all things. And it's not going to come how we expect it to come. It's going to come. It's already done. It's already done. And it, it, it's, it, it's, though it tarries, we wait for it. We wait for it. All things and in faith. Amen. And for those who are not saved, repent, repent. The Father loves you. The Father loves us. He loves his children. And, you know, the Father is shifting. He's separating the wheat from the tear, from the tares. Repent. Confess with your mouths. Believe in your heart. Amen. Be encouraged, family. Be expecting. Because there are 
amazing things that I am expecting. And I know the Father is on time and he's going to do it. I'm in my harvest. All his blessings, all his promises are yes and amen. So we don't have anything to worry about. We don't have anything to worry about, okay? Be blessed. Know that you are blessed and be a blessing unto others. Be a blessing unto others. And who the Father sends your way to help. Help them. Help them. What you do in private, the Father blesses in public. Okay? People would see who your Father is. And, you know, and also can give, you know, what they see. They would give the Father glory, right? Invite him in their lives. We are the salt and light of this earth, okay? Be different. Be different on purpose. Be different, right? Be different. We all are different. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So you guys be encouraged and be expecting. Stand, 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 stand and be steadfast. And ask for wisdom and counsel from the Lord. Amen. I love you all for the love of Christ. You guys have a great night. Be safe. I will check it with you later. I am Infinite Child. We'll talk soon. Peace.